One, scientists drop dead cow in ocean, revealing rare Pacific sleeper sharks' surprising behavior. Two, deep sea mystery solved. Scientists sink cow, giant shark appears. First ever footage. Three, uncovering deep sea secrets. Pacific sleeper sharks surprise scientists in the South China Sea. Four, scientists drop cow carcass 1,600 meters deep. Eight sharks appear in the South China Sea. Five, exploring the deep. Pacific sleeper shark behavior revealed. One, Scientists drop dead cow in ocean, revealing rare Pacific sleeper sharks' surprising behavior. Scientists were left stunned when they dropped a dead cow into the ocean, and eight elusive visitors appeared out of the darkness. In an experiment that took place in the South China Sea, researchers submerged a cow carcass at a depth of 1,629 meters near Hainan Island to observe what would happen next. To their amazement, a group of rarely seen Pacific sleeper sharks, not previously recorded in the area, emerged from the darkness to feast on the sunken carcass. What astonished the team further was the shark's seemingly orderly feeding behavior, likened to a polite queue. Scientists observed that the sharks at the front of the queue would move aside to allow newcomers approaching the carcass from behind to take their turn. This behavior suggests that feeding priority is determined by individual competitive intensity, even in deep water environments, reflecting a survival strategy suitable for non-solitary foraging among Pacific sleeper sharks. 2. Deep Sea Mystery Solved Scientists Sink Cow, Giant Shark Appears First Ever Footage In a groundbreaking experiment, Scientists have submerged a cow carcass to a staggering depth of 1,629 meters in the South China Sea, leading to an astonishing discovery. The first ever footage of Pacific sleeper sharks in this region. This remarkable event has provided researchers with crucial insights into the behavior and distribution of these elusive giants of the deep. The captivating video was captured during a research initiative aimed at understanding how large marine animals feed in the depths of the ocean. To conduct this study, the team lowered the cow carcass southeast of Hainan Island and set up a camera to observe the feeding behavior of marine life. What they recorded was nothing short of extraordinary, the appearance of Pacific sleeper sharks. Typically, these slow-moving predators inhabit the colder waters of the North Pacific Ocean, including areas like the Bering Sea, the Gulf of Alaska, and Baja California. The sighting of these sharks in the warmer waters of the South China Sea significantly extends their known habitat range, according to the researchers involved in the study. The research team, which included experts from Sun Yat-sen University and the Southern Marine Science and Engineering Guangdong Laboratory, observed several Pacific sleeper sharks engaging in feeding behavior at the site. Larger sharks, measuring over 2.7 meters in length, were seen aggressively tearing into the carcass, while smaller sharks approached with more caution. One particularly fascinating aspect of their behavior was the apparent queuing system observed among the sharks. Those approaching from behind seemed to take precedence over those already feeding, indicating a competitive dynamic at play. Han Tian, a researcher from Sun Yat-sen University, explained, This behavior suggests that feeding priority is influenced by individual competitive intensity, even in the depths of the ocean. Highlighting a survival strategy that allows Pacific sleeper sharks to forage effectively in groups. Tian further remarked on the aggressive feeding behavior of the sharks, suggesting that the South China Sea still possesses rich food sources in its deep waters. However, he posed an intriguing question, what exactly are these food sources? This inquiry is essential for understanding both the distribution of marine animals and their behavioral patterns. Additionally, the study revealed a unique feeding behavior among the sharks. They exhibit a retraction motion of their eyes while consuming food. Unlike many other predators, Pacific sleeper sharks do not have a protective eye membrane, and researchers believe this eye movement may serve as a defensive mechanism to shield their eyes during feeding. Interestingly, the footage captured showed that all the observed sharks were female. This observation aligns with findings from other deep-sea species, such as the megamouth shark, which also display a female bias in the South China Sea. 
This raises the possibility that this area may function as a nursery ground for certain large shark species. For those interested in delving deeper into this fascinating study, you can explore the research titled Predating Behavior of the Pacific Sleeper Shark in the Deep Waters of South China Sea. If you're intrigued by wildlife, there are more astonishing stories from around the globe, such as the shocking encounter between a tiger shark and a ray, or the discovery of the largest great hammerhead ever filmed in the Bahamas. Each of these stories adds to our understanding of the complex and often surprising behaviors of marine life. 3. Uncovering Deep Sea Secrets Pacific Sleeper Sharks Surprise Scientists in the South China Sea Imagine the surprise of a group of marine biologists when they dropped a cow carcass into the deep, dark waters of the South China Sea, hoping to study the mysterious behaviors of one of the ocean's most elusive creatures, the Pacific Sleeper Shark. These sharks, known for their enigmatic nature and widespread distribution, are usually shrouded in mystery. Yet, here in the South China Sea, eight of them appeared out of nowhere, marking the first recorded sighting of this species in the region. It's like discovering a hidden treasure, and the excitement was palpable among the scientists. But here's where it gets controversial. The experiment wasn't just about finding the sharks, it was about understanding the dynamics of a deep-sea feeding frenzy. The researchers wanted to simulate a whale carcass falling to the seafloor, so they dropped a cow carcass at a staggering depth of 1,629 meters, 5,344 feet, on a continental slope near Hainan Island. What happened next was both fascinating and unexpected. The video footage captured by the researchers revealed not just the shark's predatory behavior, but also a surprising level of politeness. Yes, you read that right, polite sharks. The footage showed the sharks taking turns, almost as if they were waiting in line, with the ones at the front giving way to those approaching from behind. This behavior suggests that feeding priority is determined by individual competitive intensity, even in the deep, dark waters of the ocean. It's a survival strategy that's both fascinating and unexpected. But the surprises didn't stop there. The team discovered that the larger sharks were more aggressive, diving straight into the carcass, while the smaller ones were more cautious, circling around before making their move. This difference in behavior might be due to the shark's size and experience, or perhaps even their hunger levels. The researchers also observed an intriguing eye retraction behavior, likely a protective adaptation for the eyes during feeding. Pacific sleeper sharks don't have the third eyelid that many other animals do, so this behavior might be their way of keeping their eyes safe while they feed. And if that wasn't enough, the footage also showed some of the sharks were carrying parasites in the form of copepods. This discovery adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of these deep-sea dwellers. But perhaps the most intriguing question raised by this study is about the shark's distribution. While Pacific sleeper sharks are known to inhabit colder waters in the North Pacific, their presence in the South China Sea suggests that our understanding of their range might be incomplete. Could this be a sign of climate change, pushing these creatures into new territories? Or is it simply a revelation of a range we didn't know about before? This discovery is more than just a footnote in marine biology textbooks. It's a window into the mysterious world of deep-sea creatures and a reminder that even the most well-studied species still have secrets to reveal. So, what do you think? Is this evidence of climate change or just a fascinating new chapter in the story of the Pacific sleeper shark? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And this is the part most people miss. While we've made significant strides in understanding marine life, the deep sea still holds countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. As we continue to explore and learn, we're constantly reminded of how much we don't know about our own planet. What other secrets do you think the deep sea is hiding? Let's keep the conversation going. 4. Scientists drop cow carcass 1,600 meters deep. Eight sharks appear in the South China Sea. What happens when you drop a dead cow into the ocean's abyss? Prepare for a jaw-dropping revelation that challenges everything we know about deep-sea predators. In a groundbreaking experiment, scientists plunged a cow carcass 1,629 meters deep near Hainan Island, and within moments, eight Pacific sleeper sharks materialized from the darkness. This wasn't just a freak occurrence. 
It marked the first official sighting of Somniosus pacificus in the South China Sea, shattering previous assumptions about their habitat range. But here's where it gets controversial. These sharks displayed chillingly sophisticated social behavior. High-definition footage captured larger sharks, over 2.7 meters, violently attacking the carcass, while smaller ones cautiously circled, a brutal hierarchy where size equaled dominance. More astonishingly, the sharks formed an orderly queue, with front-row individuals yielding to newcomers. Researchers suggest this isn't random politeness, but a calculated survival tactic where competitive intensity dictates feeding priority. Does this imply complex social structures in a species we assumed were solitary hunters? The evidence is staggering. The real bombshell? These sharks shouldn't even be here. Pacific sleepers thrive in icy North Pacific waters, with Solomon Islands and Palau considered their southern limit. Their appearance in the warmer South China Sea implies one of two things. Either our climate models are dangerously outdated, or a hidden population has evaded detection for centuries. Han Tian, lead researcher at Sun Yat-sen University, poses the million-dollar question, if this region has such abundant food to sustain aggressive sharks, what other apex predators are lurking unseen? And just when you thought it couldn't get weirder, the sharks retracted their eyes during feeding. Unlike species with protective eyelids, they physically pulled their eyeballs inward. Is this a defense against thrashing prey? Or an evolutionary response to extreme pressure? Either way, it's a gruesome adaptation that's never been documented before. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why use a cow? Scientists needed to simulate a whale fall, the phenomenon where sinking carcasses create temporary deep-sea ecosystems. But critics argue this method is ethically murky. Does deliberately attracting predators alter natural behaviors? And what if this experiment draws sharks toward human-populated areas? So, what's your take? Are we witnessing climate-driven migration, or have these sharks always haunted these depths? Could their aggression signal overfishing in their native waters? Debate away, the deep sea just got a lot more complicated. 5. Exploring the Deep, Pacific Sleeper Shark Behavior Revealed Unveiling the mysterious feeding habits of the Pacific Sleeper Shark in the dark depths of the South China Sea. Imagine a world where apex predators lurk in the dark, icy waters over 1,000 meters below the surface. For scientists, studying the behavior of such creatures has long been a daunting task. Recently, however, a groundbreaking study has shed new light on the predatory behavior of the Pacific sleeper shark in the deep sea habitat of the South China Sea. Published in the journal Ocean Land Atmosphere Research on June 1, 2025, this research opens up new avenues for understanding these elusive creatures. The Great Depth Conundrum Overcoming the Challenges of Observing Pacific Sleeper Sharks Historically, detailed observations of Pacific sleeper sharks have been scarce due to their remarkable ability to dive to extreme depths. To overcome this hurdle, researchers cleverly deployed a cow carcass at an astonishing 1,629 meters on the continental slope southeast of Hainan Island. This innovative approach not only provided insights into natural whale fall processes, but also unexpectedly captured the first known occurrence of Pacific sleeper sharks in the region, significantly expanding our knowledge of their distribution range. Unpacking the feeding frenzy, cueing, eye retraction, and the polite sharks. The captured video footage revealed fascinating aspects of the Pacific sleeper sharks' predating behavior. Multiple sharks were observed attacking the cow carcass, displaying a peculiar cueing behavior while feeding. A notable distinction was found between the feeding strategies of larger sharks, exceeding 2.7 meters in length, and their smaller counterparts. While larger sharks aggressively attacked the carcass, smaller ones circled cautiously, highlighting a potential size-based hierarchy. But here's where it gets interesting. The sharks exhibited distinct eye retraction movements during feeding, likely a defensive adaptation compensating for the lack of a nictitating membrane, a characteristic of the somniosis genus. Moreover, sharks were seen yielding their positions to approaching individuals, a behavior eerily reminiscent of hierarchical feeding patterns observed in surface scavenging. Yet, 
The question remains asterisk, is this polite cueing a result of avoiding competition or a more complex social dynamic? Rethinking distribution and the southernmost frontier. These observations mark the southernmost known occurrence of the Pacific sleeper shark in the Pacific Ocean Basin, challenging our current understanding of their environmental and ecological preferences. Historically confined to the North Pacific, from Japan to Baja California, this new finding sparks intrigue about the factors driving this shift. Looking ahead, unraveling the mysteries of deep-sea ecosystems. Researchers are eager to delve deeper into how these ecosystems sustain large-bodied organisms. The burning question asterisk what abundant food sources are supporting the highly aggressive behavior of sharks in the South China Sea? The study's findings, notably the prevalence of female Pacific sleeper sharks, mirroring patterns in other species like the megamouth shark, hint at the possibility of this region serving as a nursery ground for large sharks. We invite your thoughts asterisk, could this discovery be the tip of the iceberg in understanding deep sea biodiversity and energy flow? Study details asterisk. Research team asterisk, deep sea life and ecology team, Southern Marine Science and Engineering Guangdong Laboratory, School of Marine Sciences, Sun Yat-sen University, and the Institute of Acoustics, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Funding asterisk supported by the Southern Marine Science and Engineering Guangdong Laboratory Projects and a Guangdong NSF China Joint Scheme Key Project. Publication asterisk Oceanland Atmosphere Research, June 1, 2025. Author asterisk Contian, with contributions to animal identification and video editing. CI statement asterisk no conflicts of interest declared.